Today we are going to make um, my version of cream cheese. So I mixed it up using this bullet, which is really cool. And I'm gonna use the, the waffle mix. I'm gonna pour that in just enough to cover the sides. Like that. Just enough. As you can see, just enough to cover it. We're gonna put in some dollops of cream cheese. These are probably too big. Make that one a little smaller. We already did the warm up of 10 minutes. Crushed up graham cracker crumbs. We're probably going to make two of these. We'll do a little variation for the next one or something. Some chocolates. This is going to be like a like a cheesecake pie. Put a bunch in there. Some over here. Make sure it gets in every piece. All right. And we're gonna pour the rest of this on top. And cover it all up. And cook it for Yeah, you saw that. Doggone it. What a... Ugh. Damn it. Now I don't feel like cooking anything else. Mother father. All right. Let's close this. And flip it. And set the timer for about 10 minutes. Now I got to clean up. Mother father. It's recording. All right. As you can see, I made a mess. I was able to clean up the mess in the eight minutes it took me to cook the first one. When my kids did that kind of stuff, it was funny. I mean, kids making messes, that's what happens when they help out parents in the kitchen. We used to laugh about it, but when I do it, it's not funny when I do it. It's dumb. So I spent that eight minutes cleaning that one up and I decided to make another one here. Put them in nice and flat. Try and get them all around there. and all around get them nice and flat hopefully all right that's in there and chocolate chips again gonna do the same recipe we did before we're just not gonna make a mess this time I put that canister over at the sink, so if it falls this time, I don't have a mess to clean up. Here's what's left. I spilled probably a whole waffle worth, so we're filling up now to cover. Cover all that up. I did it a little high. Hopefully this is enough. I might try pressing some of this down. Let's see if I can push some of this down to get it in there. 
You know us Americans always try and get as much as you can out of something. That ought to do it. Cover them way down below. Now they're covered. I'll show you the first one in a minute. Oh, get that graham cracker off of here. Mm. Push that down. All right. Let's see what comes out. It's a piece up here from the last one. Get that out of there so it doesn't burn. I think I'm spilling over, so let's hurry up and do this. Put this baby down. Flip it. I'm spilling out. And we'll do it for another eight minutes. It's gonna cook. It tastes like pretty good. But this is part of the... I wouldn't have made this mess if I didn't do it before. This isn't burning hot right now. So if you spill some, go ahead and wipe it or wait until afterwards if you want. I'm just cleaning it up so I don't have that mess. Afterwards, all I have to do is wet rag wipe the whole thing down. That's all you need to do to clean it. Kind of like the George Foreman. You just wet wipe it down and it'll be fine. All right, see you in seven and a half more minutes. As you can see, it looks nice. You can see the chocolate chips around the top, cream cheese inside, graham cracker crust cooked good on both sides. That was eight minutes. I'll go ahead and cut one. And let's see, cuts nice. Cream cheese is probably melted inside. And here's what we got. Oh my God, look at that. Cream cheese, chocolate, graham crackers. Oh, it's, mm. The little crumbs I just ate were delicious. I'm gonna put this in the fridge and package it. Eat it for dessert maybe tonight, chew a half of it. Not the whole thing, but this is freaking, look at this. That looks delicious. In the waffle, I love this thing. I just hate that I had to clean it up this time, but this looks beautiful. Look at this, I mean, this is freaking beautiful. It's been eight minutes. Not much of a mess, just a little clean up. Flip it back. And here we go. Oh, another great one. Here you can see I'm gonna turn I'm plug it. First let's pull this out. This is great. Look at this. This is an outside piece that cooked. I'm gonna put this right here. Flip it. Let's see. Get this piece off without breaking it. There. There we go. Let this cool over here. Um, and let's see, you can see the same kind of thing. I'm gonna let this cool. This part should be lighter like this. It is because the handles are a different texture, so they cook differently. Basically, so they definitely non-stick. Everything's non-stick. You never need to put oil on it. But this outside is supposed to be lighter than that. But this is eight minutes cooked through. You saw the first one. I'm gonna eat half of this right now because I'm hungry, um, but this is my version of a cake, a cheesecake, and this is the piece that spilled out. I left it because I knew it'd be a nice little treat, but this is it, and let me show you here again. Presto Stuffler, um, non-stick, easy handles to take it in and out. You cook, fill it up, the lower level, and fill up the lower level there and then put all your stuff in and top it off with the top of the waffle flip it close it flip it over and afterwards you take it out with this and this is it flip it close it flip it over you can see a little bit of the messes here um and that's just a little cleanup i have because i spilled over and stuffed it a little too much but this is a great product take the time to cook your waffles your mix. Uh, I did mine with this magic bullet, or no, not magic bullet, with this Blendjet blender and made it. I had enough for three, but of course I messed that up by spilling that mess over there. So there's my two and they look delicious. Make them, put them in the fridge, save them for later or cook your breakfast up and eat them now. Great, great product. I love it.